Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet Bullets and this video is for Megabyte TV um, so hello again to people over there um, so this is a video called this is a video on a kind of game called fun um, PHUN it's version 5.28 um, now obviously I'm going to be putting this onto my channel as well um, and this is one of two videos that will be going on my channel and this is just I'm only be putting one onto Megabyte TV um, now the first one is, as I say, called uh, Fun. It's a physics game. Um, you will be thinking, oh my god, physics, that's boring. No, this is just a little example that I'll show you. Now as you can see here, I'm able to drag around the the pieces. There's a little weird killer ball. Um, and so I can see it. You can drag around the screen. But I can take the items and let go and throw them in the air and they will travel. Um, I can make this thing move around and then bust there's absolutely tons of things you can do now I'm going to go into load scene and I'm going to load any scene I will do the one called orbit and as you can clearly see here they have set it up properly so you are able to so sort of just orbit the earth slowly and there's ones those are ones that you can load up I do another one called gears as you can see it's just a gear system then I'll load up another one and I'll do walking toys. Now this is a good one. I'll, I'll scroll out more so you can see what I'm doing. And as you can now see, all these toys kind of things are moving by their own. So it's a really good physics game. As you can clearly see, it's amazing. Now I'm going to go into a clear scene. There you go. You can now create your own scene. Now, what I'd suggest first is that you create a floor. But I'll show you all the items first. This is just a moving item. This is for the hand to drag things. This is to spin the items around, to resize the items, um, to create your own weird custom shape. There you go. So as you can see, it's a fully functional um, physics game. You can create any shape you like, whatsoever, at all. And then when you press play, they get a full butt. And as you can, if I put a floor to it, which is this one here, as you can see, they're going to hit the floor and they will stay. But I just make it two floors. Um, these are the just you can go back and forward into through the scenes that you've done yourself. Um, so as I was saying, this is another customized um, to do another shape to do more shapes and things like that. So this is an interesting one. This you're able to do this weird kind of squiggly stuff. I'm gonna go to create a scene so I can, uh, so I can show you more. So this is a uh, really weird kind of stuff. As you can see, I can just do any kind of shapes. And if I uh, make a floor. and go into that weird squiggly stuff I just said about it's going to hit the floor see so if I do this it will hit the floor and then maybe do a circle oh, but that's here and then join and stuff like that um, and then there is to create a, to create a square which you can see and then it will just drop and um, circles see um, gears as you saw a minute ago you saw some gears which automatically float and then obviously one of them will spin once I try to spin it but I failed doing that um, so I'll go on to hand for instance it doesn't want to stay I don't know but there you go there's the resize and then you have uh, where was I you got the floor as I said you got a chain you can create a weird tra uh, chain even and then as you can see if I scroll that is now swinging and it's a chain um, this is a spring, but it needs to be attached to something first. But that's a spring. Um, so if I create, if I go to create a new one quickly, if I get a circle, then put that on the spring, and then I pause that and push this right to the way in, so the chain is popping like that. When I press play, it's play even. It's going to spring out and bounce around. Um, and then you've also got an X to sphere the thing into the actual background itself so it doesn't move. And then you have these weird colour things which if I implant to that, it's like a hinge basically and it can then hinge stuff. And then also the other one, the last one on there if I get rid of um, the X's and the hinges. It's like a weird colour beam thing and if I put that on there, it will just slowly sphere the colour and... Uh, you can also go into this and you have like a 
a list at the side kind of thing, you can change the trackers. So you can change the fade in time. So it basically will never fade. And you can also change the size of it and things like that. Um, and the colour it will come out. So there's tons of things you can edit. Um, now I'm just going to quickly show you a uh, so you can so you can make anything. I'm going to make a car. Um, so you need two wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into clone. Obviously I can't show you everything in this video because I'm limited to time. I'll then get to square. I just put that over that to about there. Now you got to get the hinges, which is this I believe. Yep. And then uh, zoom in so the hinges don't go too big. And you just zoom in by using your weird scroll bit on your mouse. Um, you can then right click on them and a new menu will come up. Now I'm going to uh, press control so I can highlight both of them. Um, and I'm going to go into hinges. And then you're going to add a motor. So then they're motorized now. And you're going to change the speed to whatever you want. And then press play. And as you can clearly see, I'll have to zoom out for a second. As you can cl clearly see now, I've just created a little car, and this car by itself is moving, and you can create a track for it. So, for instance, I'm going to put some little bubbles in the way, and it will hit them and push them around slowly. Um, I can also, as you can see, I can go backwards. I'm going to also get um, a square, like a small line. Get this tool to change the angle of it. Put that to about that. Go on to the moving tool plant that into the floor. But if I now press play, that's just going to move out of the way and it's going to not going to happen. So you get the hinge tool to push it into the floor and it will now stay there. Now my little car will slowly go up to it. And it will go up it and then pull back to the floor again. Um, now I have I've known about this um, game called Fun for absolutely ages now. Um, but I've just never really spoken about it before because my computer wasn't able to handle to uh, record it. So I'm doing it today as you can see. Um, so you can do loads of things on this. It's a really fully functional um, physics game, and it's just an amazing game. It's immense, um, and there's tons of things you can do. And I wouldn't be able to show you all the things that you can do because I would run out of time. Um, and I'm guessing this is going to be quite long as it is as already. Um, you can make cars, you can make airplanes if you're able to. You can literally make anything. And I'm going to go into another load one quickly and go gravity car. And as you can clearly see, they have changed the gravity in this place, um, so everything is gravityless kind of thing. And that is now going around the thing because it is gra no gravity, which you can change by here, adding gravity and air. So um, there you go. This is the first one I said about already because I was going to do another one, but I'm not going to um, try to get the other one on to make a bike TV because um, the other one is basically the same but a little bit different. Um, so this is a video by me, Bullet of Bullets. If you like the videos, please comment and subscribe. Um, thank you very much, Megabyte TV. This is again called Fun. Um, so thanks for watching.